right, thank you. We're back again after another wild week of uh, everything. Scott, Leo, Robin's here. Wade's over there doing the producing as usual. And guess what, Julio? We got something. We invested. We got a new chair. I did get a new chair. We got a new chair. Good stuff. Not many invests. That's it. We got another chair, so we're happy. You Uh, won the lottery and got it. Yeah, you got the new chair. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So we got a new chair. That's good. Um, The other thing is the NFL won't stop. It no. just won't stop. I so love it. I can get myself into other sports. But, of course, later on we'll talk about the NFL. Um, but right now um, I'd like to bring in a friend of the show. He's kind of like our insider, NHL insider. Um, Mike Jello. if you want to follow him, he's at Mike in Buffalo. He has, he's got about 11,000 followers on there. Member of the Professional Hockey Writers Association, HockeyBuzz.com reporter, um, Hockey Buzz Buzzcast, which is a great show to hear all of the rumors all, the, all kinds of great information. Check it out. Hockey, Go to HockeyBuzz.com. Go to Mike and Buffalo's um, Twitter page, and it'll bring you right to that Buzzcast. You can watch it anytime, too, because it's very uh, – I watched it this afternoon. It was really good. He's our insider, so Mike uh, Ajello. Hey, Mike. Good, uh, good, e- <clears throat> good afternoon. Hey, good evening, gentlemen. How are you? We're good, thank you. Uh, you see, we got new – I got new, new co-hosts here. We got Scott. We got Julio. With me, yes, and I see you have a background where uh, the Maple Leafs always lose, so that's yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> it's I... a live look at our fans, too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, nice. You know what else? We got to ask Wade why. Why is there a Sabres emblem at, at, at... <laughs> you're a Sabres fan? So, there you go, that's why I get that, Mike. No, I'm no surrounded reason. by them. Well, not well, not, not you, not no I'm not yeah. hardcore, but I, I like the Sabres, yeah, yeah we're three to two team. here. Three to two. Yeah, three to two. All right, Mike, this is your day. This is your guys' time. I mean, I know, like, Canada Day is a big day, and this is the second big day is uh, Trade Deadline Day, which comes on Monday. Um, you know, so far, I'm going to get your – I want to get your take on this, but so far it's been kind of quiet, which might be good for Monday finally. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, we've had the Sherratt deal, and we've had a couple other – you know, the Toffoli deal was a couple weeks ago, and right. – um, you know, uh, uh, Kali Yarncroke from Seattle to uh, Calgary. So we've had a few deals, but it does sound like um, like the Giroux deal is going to go down before Monday. And once that happens, I mean, the uh, most of the big names, I mean, Manson's gone. I mean, I, I, right. there, there should be some action, but I, I think that um, some of the deals that are going to happen are probably going to happen tonight, tomorrow leading up to Monday, because I don't think a lot of teams really want to wait until the 11th hour, because then that really puts them in a position where, you know, they're they're trying to scramble to get these players. And sometimes that ends up ha- being helpful and getting a good price. But sometimes, um, you know, it's tough to arrange some complex deals at the 11th hour. And today there was one deal, and guys, if you got any questions, just interrupt me. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, as you just don't don't worry about yeah. that. Um, there was a deal today. Brandon uh, Hagel uh, from Chicago goes to Tampa. He he, they got a lot for him. I thought. What were your thoughts on that deal? Well, I mean, Hagel, um, you know, this was his first real big year. Uh, Chicago signed him to a three-year contract, and he's making a million and a half, which is a relatively low salary. And he broke out this year. He has 21 goals right now. And clearly Tampa Bay is all in. They're, they're a team that now is looking to, you know, win a third straight Stanley Cup, you know, get closer to, like, Edmonton and the Islanders from the 80s and winning all cups in a row. And, you know, now uh, uh, Pittsburgh won uh, – cups in a row 17 and 18 um and the basically the thought was that tampa bay wasn't going to make any moves that they didn't have any cap room to make the moves but for a salary like hagel who's making a million and a half and they gave up two players in uh, boris kachuk and taylor radish the salaries are basically a wash but they gave up two first round picks they gave up a 23 and a 24 first so they're really all in i mean this is a situation where they've got players you know their core group of players are all in their 20s or early 30s in kucherov and stamkos and vasilevsky and hedman and right now it's like okay we need to strike while the iron is hot and try to win now because you never know this might be you know, their window could end pretty soon. So they had a guy who's a 20-goal scorer right now, and they're hoping that he 
turns out to be a, a good value going forward. This is very similar to the deal they made a couple of years ago when they traded for Blake Coleman. And when they traded for, um, well, they had Yanni Gord already, but Blake Coleman and Barkley Goudreau. And that third line was key to them winning two consecutive Stanley Cups. Yeah, that third line was. that Those guys were incredible. And I'm sure they're on the right right path again. I wanted to ask you about, we, we brought up Sherratt for a moment. Um, did that seem like a lot to you for him, or was that on where you expected for the compensation for Chirac? It was a massive overpayment in my estimation, especially when you look at the fact that uh, uh, Josh Manson, who I think is just as good or even better def- a better defenseman than Chirac, ended up uh, costing uh, Colorado a second-round pick, and Drew Hellison, who's a decent prospect, um, uh, Montreal got a one, a four, and a decent prospect in Smolonic. So uh, now the reason that it was different is Manson had some no trade protection. I know that the Leafs were interested in him, and he didn't want to go north of the border, even though he's from north of the border. Um, and um, you know he, I think, directed his way to care to uh, Colorado, and Anaheim got a pretty good return, but. Charat, the bidding was numerous teams. I've heard the Rangers were in on him. I've heard Boston and St. Louis and uh, and Florida as well. And obviously they got him. So, but they had to overpay to get him. Now I don't know whether the market for some of the other top four defensemen out there before the deadline is going to equal Sherrod. That may be a unique unique case. But if there's one guy that can equal or maybe even better it, it's probably Hampus Lindholm, who uh, is not going to sign a uh, an extension with Anaheim. And it sounds like they're going to move him before 3 p.m. on Monday. And we're with Micah Jello from uh, HockeyBuzz.com and a lot of other places. Find him at, at Mike and Buffalo on Twitter. And you can find all kinds of rumors and all this kind of information, and we're happy to have them. Mike, um, give me the latest on Jacob Chicharin. And injury-wise, well, I thought. Yeah, the, the news that came out of Arizona is that it's as not as serious as uh, previously thought. He got folded up by Derek Forbert uh, playing Boston uh, last week. And, or earlier in the week, and um, the prognosis that came out was two to four weeks. Now, that won't keep him out of the playoffs, but teams that are in the mix right now for uh, Chikrin are in a situation where, you know, he's got three years left on his contract. And basically, it's a situation where, you know, Arizona doesn't have to move him right now. They can hold on to him until the summer and try to drive the price up and get a return. I mean, it, you know, he's their best player or maybe second best player. And a lot of people are scratching their head why they would want to trade him. And the, the reason is, is because the Arizona Coyotes are a pathetic organization who are in a constant rebuild and probably shouldn't be in Arizona. You know, they'd be playing in, in a college building next year with 3,500 to 4,000 fans. I mean, it's, a, it's an absolute joke. And you would think a, a, an organization – would keep a type this type of player, but I mean, especially since he's locked on a long term contract. But they're looking at a rebuild of probably three or four years, and they're looking to acquire massive multiple assets for Chikrin. So whether that gets done before Monday, I don't know. I would I would guess no. I would guess this is more of a summer deal, but it's not impossible. There are teams out there that want that long term security and have a n- number of prospects and draft picks out there that they can make that deal happen. The next guy I want to ask you about staying on defense is Mark Giordano. Um, mm-hmm. He seems to be the perfect type of uh, guy to be moved at the deadline. What are you hearing? Where? Who's interested? Well, um, the Giordano situation is a little bit different. He's 38 years old. He's in the last year of his contract. He's making, I think, $6.75 million. Um, Seattle would obviously have to retain salary. Um, from what I understand, he does have a a list. Now, I don't know whether he has a limited no trade. I believe, I believe he has a modified no trade clause, so he can submit a list. Um, the speculation is he wouldn't mind going back to Calgary and he's a Toronto kid and wouldn't mind playing for the Leafs. Um, but you know, the Giordano who won the Norris trophy is not the same player 
that is today. So I don't think Ron Francis is going to be able to get a first round pick for him. Um, if that's the case, if it's a second round pick and a prospect, then I think Toronto would be interested. If it's higher price than that, I think that they'll look for more inexpensive options. He played with TJ Brody when they were defense partners in Calgary. And I think his veteran um, savvy and experience would be a good fit for Toronto, but I don't know, you know, Toronto doesn't want to trade a lot of their prospects, doesn't particularly want to trade their first round picks. Um, so they're limited and they're also limited in terms of cap space. So they're limited in what they can do, but I do think that they're interested in, they could, you know, I wouldn't be shocked to hear Giordano's name in connection with the Leafs, uh, before 3 PM on Monday. Mike, I got another couple guys I want to throw at you. Names that are just for me. I mean, the casual fan probably wouldn't know who they are. Um, I'm more than a casual fan. I mean, I'm I'm pretty much into this. And these guys even kind of got to me a little. Um, it's and they're two different teams, but it's Jacob Middleton and Andrew Cop. Boy, they have really. It seems like everywhere I turn, they are really sought after. Give me what the deal is with these guys because, uh, geez, they just come out of nowhere for me. Well, cop starting with cop, he's a he's a pending UFA. Um, it does not sound like Winnipeg is going to be able to re-sign him. He did get hurt, but um, I believe he's back or he's close to being back, so he will likely be moved. He's a center. He's a you know he's a tough two-way center. Um, traditionally, he's good at faceoffs. I'm not sure what his numbers are this year, but he's the type of player that you know a playoff team is looking for. You know, somebody who makes it tough on the other, uh, on the opposition. Somebody who hits. Somebody who's good defensively. Who can win win draws. Um, and he's got some experience, so I, I think he's definitely going to be moved. I've heard. You know, I've heard Colorado. He might be the fallback if they don't get if Colorado doesn't get Giroux. Um, potentially the New York Rangers, who um, they were interested in Thomas Hurdle, but he signed with San Jose, so he could go to the Rangers. Um, as for Middleton, it's funny because uh, Pierre LeBrun from TSN reported Middleton's name out there and connected him with you know Toronto, Tampa, Boston. Um, for a number of reasons, but well, the biggest reason is he's making $725,000. He's one of these players who has just sort of, he was the last pick in the 2014 draft. He was signed on an AHL contract. He's worked his way through the San Jose organization. He earned an NHL deal. And now this year he's played top four minutes playing with Carlson or Burns or whoever. I mean, so he's been a success story. He's built himself up and now um, there are teams interested because his salary is so low. But I talked to a friend of mine who's a San Jose reporter and he's like, it's more the interest of uh, teams inquiring about him rather than San Jose shopping him because he's such a inexpensive player. And um, I, it makes sense to me that Boston or Toronto or not as much Tampa now since they traded a boatload of draft picks for uh, for Hagel, but uh, it's very possible he gets moved if the asking price that San Jose put out there is something that teams will meet. But yeah, you know, he's he's not somebody who's big on the radar, but he's a he's a big tough uh, defensive defenseman, and teams at the deadline are looking for those type of players. Mike, before I um, and I got to talk about him. Um... Me and Mike knew each other before. Mike, Mike though, has has taken the hat off. I still haven't. Well, he hasn't really. He's a Maple Leafs fan. He is. But he's got a report. You know what I mean? He's right, got to be a reporter you gotta try now. To mean by, you got to be biased. He's got to be a reporter now. He covers the whole league. I'm still I'm still on AM640 um, <laughs> wanting to yell at people. So, Mike, um, the Maple Leafs, my God, what happened in that stupid Heritage Classic with Mrazek? It well, was something I haven't seen in a long time. You know, it was it was bad. It was Toscala like. You, okay, you couldn't have been surprised at the way that the Leafs play. The Leafs play against the Sabers this way all the time. It's a it's the biggest one way rivalry in professional sports. The Sabers play the Leafs like it's Game Seven of the Stanley Cup, and the Leafs play the Sabers like it's a preseason game. And they have money on Buffalo. That's the way they play all the time. <laughs> yeah, you know, pretty much. 
if you look at their all-time record in Buffalo or when Buffalo is the home team, which they were in the Heritage Classic, I think their winning percentage is like 333. It's pathetic. And, you know, for somebody who, yes, donned the Leaf fan hat for a number of years, but, you know, now, I mean, I'm just like – it bef it's befuddling and i talked to other members in the media and it's like what do you expect and it's like yeah, there's you just expect them to not show up and it's always in front of like in if it's in buffalo if it's in uh key bank center and it's 19,000 fans which it hasn't been for a couple of years but if it's 19,000 fans 17,000 of those fans are are, are leaf fans because the saber season ticket holders have made their cash back selling their tickets on uh, on StubHub or something else to, to to leaf fans and at the heritage classic it was 26,000 i would say probably 20 21,000 of those fans are leaf fans and my suggestion to them is don't waste your money don't come down to Buffalo and watch them play in Buffalo because they never show up. They forget their game when they come to Buffalo. But as for the, you know that performance, um, I, I would hope that it starts a bit of a rivalry because Austin Matthews and Rasmus Dahlin got into it, and then Dylan Cousins tried to lay out uh, Matthews, and then McKayev and Bunting went at, at uh, Dylan Cousins. If the Leafs don't – have a burr up their saddle when they play the Sabres, and I think they play them one more time in Toronto in a couple weeks. If they don't have somebody taking a run at Cousins and being right. physical, then you know I would I would opt on their on the 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 case that they might be just you know a little bit challenged when it came to uh, heart and courage. Yeah, you know Ballard was right. I never thought I'd say that. I was happy. I guess they were better off in the Western Conference in a lot of ways. Because mm -hmm. this matchup with Buffalo just is, it, it's a no-win situation, Mike. I, I look at it this way. When I was at Niagara Catholic, we used to play St. Mary's of the Deaf. And if you beat St. Mary's of the Deaf, you didn't feel good. And if you lose to St. Mary's of the Deaf, you <laughs> certainly don't feel good. Any win so is a good one. That's kind of like with the Sabres. It just doesn't ever feel good. But either way, let's get back to goaltending with the Maple Leafs because it's a big story, not just but not just for me. Um, Mrazek just blew up in that game like we've never seen. Um, a nice story is Schalgren, um, you know, from Sweden, comes up. I mean, he had a shutout. He, last night, really, he only gave up a goal. I thought the second goal, they should have blew the whistle. It was under his – I felt that the second goal should have been, you know, but they didn't blow the whistle. Where are they? Mark andre Fleury, anything. What do you think? Well, um, I, in a perfect world, Kyle Dubas doesn't want to have to add a goaltender. You might have to. Um, in a situation where, I mean, Jack Campbell's injury apparently is not nothing severe, um, uh, that he's supposed to be back in a week or two. Um, Mrazek has been erratic at, at best. Um, you know, he played okay earlier on in the season, but the last few starts, the debacle against Arizona where he gives up four goals and I think it was 12 shots. And then, you know, he played okay against the Sabres until that bad goal by Vinny Hinestroza in the third period. So uh, right now they're riding the confidence and riding the wave of Shogren, who, I mean, he put up okay stats with the Marlies. He was brought in to be sort of like an innings eater type of goalie because they've had so many injuries with some of their young goaltenders down in the minors. And they maybe had him as insurance in, in case, like, Michael Hutchinson got claimed on waivers. You know, his, his save percentage is over 900 in the AHL, and he played, I think, 26 games. So, you know, he earned the call-up, but nobody – I mean, you know, Garrett Sparks got a shutout in his first NHL start. That'll tell you what that means. I'm, I'm not slamming the kid. I, I, he played really well last night, the game I was at in uh, against Carolina. But – do we expect him to all of a sudden be, you know, Pelly Lindbergh or Henrik Lundqvist? I mean, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I, you know, but the thing is, is the clock is ticking. You've got, you know, more than a little more than 48 hours or 72 hours left until the deadline. And once that deadline passes, you can't get yourself a goalie. And Joseph Wall got hurt yesterday in an AHL game, so. Uh, with Campbell out and with Wall out, you know, your the depth of your goaltending is uh, severely limited. And I don't think, you know, the, in their right mind, 
they want to, you know, because they traded for in a, in a paper transaction, they paid, they traded for the former Sabre Carter Hutton. They'd have a better chance of winning with me in net than Carter Hutton. So, <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I would say, you know, they need to get another goaltender, but whether Kyle Dubas can pull that off, it's yet to be seen. All right, Mike, I've kept you very long. I'm going to ask you two final questions um, before I let you go. And they're just questions that uh, really aren't trade deadline questions. They're just kind of, because I won't talk to you again probably till maybe we get to Canada Day, you know, once we get to the free agent thing. Heart Trophy. Um, and I'm not, I don't have the Maple Leaf glasses on for this. I don't believe I do. I think Austin Matthews, I don't see right now how he's not the MVP, you know, the Hart Trophy winner. What do you think? I think he's one of the three finalists, but I mean, you can make a case for Igor Shashurkin with the with the Rangers. He's been fantastic. Um, he has uh, been um, steady and, and spectacular at the at the same time. Um, but sometimes there is a little bit of a prejudice in terms of no goal of goaltenders being nominated for the Hart Trophy. Uh, they have their own award. And that's the Vesna, but you know sometimes when a goaltender is spectacular, like Hasek it was in the past, or Jose Theodore the one year with Montreal, or Carey Price, they they deserve heart uh, consideration. Um, the other names I've heard, I mean McDavid. I think McDavid's number, McDavid is not going to be a candidate simply because you've got Drysaitel there that may split the vote a little bit. Um, the other name that's been out there is Jonathan Huberto with uh, with Florida. I mean, in my estimation, watching as many games of Matthews, I watched every game this season. Um, other than the slow start at the beginning of the year when he was coming off the wrist injury and uh, a little blip, he's been consistent. He's been a just a dangerous scorer. He's probably going to win the Rocket Richard. The only thing I could say that was negative against him, in a sense, is um, they won both games – that he was out. Sometimes when a team like loses two or three, like if a player is out with for two or three games and they lose, that shows, well, he is the most valuable player because they, they, they need him to win. But I still think he's going to be in the final three. And then it's a question of whether he gets the votes or not. If I, you know, I've, I'm a member of the PHWA. And if I had had a chance to vote for the heart, I would vote for Matthews. Yeah. I was kind of thinking that he just, uh, and like you, I've, I've seen every, every game this year and I, and every game he's ever played, I guess, is a Maple Leaf, because I don't think I've missed one. Um, mm -hmm. The defensive play has just gotten to the point where, um, God, at one point I was thinking the Selkie even, but I guess we can't go that far. But I thought the guy has been uh, outstanding. So, Mike, I... Um, and, he, and, he, and he won't get the Lady Bing after that suspension, so... Yeah, no. And, and you know what? Darlene won't get anything for being so soft when he got hit on the boards and had to go at him with... Eight million cross checks, and the referees refuse to call anything. Yeah, uh, don't laugh. What are you laughing? <laughs> you're so right. bitter. I'm, I'm, love, I'm very bitter. I'm I very love, I love cousins. Bears, so. so bitter. bitter. <laughs> How, why shouldn't I be bitter? I mean, this is outrageous. Big cousins. Let me. Big cousins fans. All right, Mike. I'm gonna let you go. You're busy. Uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and um, thank you. And we'll get back to you very soon. I appreciate it. My pleasure, guys. Have a good one. Thanks, you too, Mike. Mike. Thank you. All right, that was Mike Agello from HockeyBuzz.com. Uh, he's a reporter. You can see him everywhere. He does. Get your fill. Oh yeah. You feel better. He make you feel better. Mike. <laughs> Mike is the one Bunch who of leaves. No, no, well, not really. No, not Did really. he say they're gonna? He told me they're gonna eliminate in the first round. Oh, I didn't get anything. But I know I that. But I know. You kind of expected it though. But I know that too. Yeah. See, I, I just watched them for too long. He's right about the Sabers. They always get. I, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to remember that next year. Yes, bet it. Every I'm gonna have to remember. Time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Heritage Classic. Right they well, were we plus three hundred. I mean, jeepers. Yeah. No. They, I, there was times <laughs> where the Sabers were really good. The Leafs were bad. Back and forth. Back and forth. I think one time they lost nineteen out of twenty-one in Buffalo. Wow. I mean, it was so bad. And I will say the this. money line would be terrible on in that. Buffalo. <laughs> it means more to Buffalo. This doesn't mean shit. This doesn't mean anything. But it just kind of does. Toronto's. Kind of thing is Montreal. Buffalo's is kind of Toronto's. It's weird. Right. Yeah, no, Ottawa, I know what you there's mean. just It's always been Toronto. But yet, when you look at both Buffalo and Toronto, they haven't won a Stanley Cup in the modern era, so they're both the same. You know what I mean? They both yeah, haven't, yeah, they both haven't won. So where are they? The one wins in 67. There were six friggin' teams in, in black and white TV. That means nothing, right? Well, Fuck yeah, that. So then you get to this, <laughs> and, you, and you get that. No, dead fucking serious. I've watched Sounds this stuff up. for every fucking time. How long, Robert, have I watched them for? 
Every game. Probably I'm, my whole life since not you didn't even know me. So yes. Yeah, you used to release stuff in high school. I remember. Yes, in the yeah. 80s yep. when they were just getting hammered away on. All right, I got to go. We got a commercial <laughs> to go to. Quick, quick, then quick. we got NFL. We got yes. a little bit of Major League Baseball. I'm going to squeeze in there before we hit NFL because <laughs> NFL is really everything. I don't know what else to say. Out of control this week. Greatest great week. And we got to bring my friends here to talk. Hell yeah. Letchworth State Park is truly spectacular. Everyone should have the opportunity to enjoy this wonder of nature. The Autism Nature Trail at Letchworth will provide ADA-compliant accessibility and allow those with autism, as well as visitors of all ages and abilities, to push boundaries, explore new activities, and develop skills. Go to AutismNatureTrail.com to learn more, and please help support this important project. We're back. Yeah, hockey gets me, man. Hockey gets to me. Like I can really get. It. It's the only sport, honestly, because even the Bears. I don't know. I, I'm just resigned myself to the fact. But the the Leafs, on the other hand, I don't know. I'm just well, the Leafs are supposed to be good in, though. Huh? All the time, though. You know, not even all the time. Yeah, this year they are. They're good. I mean, it's just they always get to that point where they just can't. Like right now, there's pieces they need, and they either got to be all in or all, or what. And probably right. should be all in at this point. What the um, team we're about to talk about. Yeah, let's let's talk about some Major League Baseball real quick, and then we will get to football. I promise. Um, real quick, I know, let's let's run. I'm just going to run down a few of the things that have happened. Chris Bryant um, went to the Rockies. Rockies, uh, seven years, 182 million dollars, 30 years old, and as you recall, he was with the Cubs to finally win that World Series. You then know? he was traded when all three of the core guys were traded. Yeah. Him, Baez, and Rizzo all left the same month. Unbelievable. I have right? good. I got a good uh, baseball. In regards to this whole free agency, because obviously, like I said, I'm I, unfortunately I'm a spectator to you guys doing this right now because I don't follow baseball a bunch. But just due to the him being related to some some local people around here, I Winker? thought Jesse Winker was yeah. playing fantastic for Cincinnati. Why mm-hmm. would they Why would they trade him? Because they're just not really. A, I, I my like, mind, wasn't he on the verge of going to the? Did he make he the All Star last year? Was he on the All Star team last year? Twice. Yeah, twice. Yeah. Um, why Why would you get rid of a guy a that's bad... like? Or like he said about Arizona, I feel like that's that's the Reds. The Reds, the Reds are just, they just a, a no real direction. Just churn and burn, just get rid of guys. No direction that they're going. Kind of like the Pirates, wow. and, and then, I don't. Know and then they why. signed somebody like Puig three years ago for what reason? And they traded for Sonny Gray. I mean, the why guy's a highlight reel. Yeah. He's, no, he's, I'm he's sorry. Always... 
I'm, yeah, you're right. He is. They he, traded away. I saw Sunday that move, Gray. and I'm just like, wow, I've seen him on the highlights on ESPN. Yeah. I heard what a great player he is. And obviously, I see it because, look, you know, his relatives around here, they oh, share Jesus. it when right. he, when you know, when he gets any accolades or anything like that. Yeah. I was just I was pretty shocked. I just don't understand that kind of stuff. I guess he was pretty devastated by it, too. Right. Yankees are making pretty good moves. All the way out to Seattle. Yeah, now the Yankees, on the other hand, traded. Let's start with that first. There was the trade of Gary Sanchez and Gio Urshela to Minnesota. And I can't say the, the shortstop's name, but he might be good. Isaiah Kiner Falafa. Yeah. Um, but they need a shortstop. They didn't have one at all. Gio Urshela was a shortstop. But he's kind of. Yeah, but he played shorts out. He them, played though, it. I mean. Yeah, he stood there. Right. You know, but I don't know. He, you know what I mean. He didn't right, look real. They thought Torres could probably do it. And he can't do it. Right. Josh Donaldson's weird because now him and uh, Garrett Cole have to make up because Josh Donaldson was the one who said Garrett Cole is a bum. He's a loser. He he, he right. cheats. He he puts whatever on the ball. And uh, so I guess they did have some conversations. I heard Garrett Cole the other day. So that's their third baseman now. Uh, is it? Yeah. Don, Donaldson has to be because they have a guy be. like Sanchez, or not Sanchez, Staten, that has to take over the DH spot. So he play third. Your second baseman will be Torres. D, no, DJ. No, DJ LeMahieu. DJ LeMahieu. Uh, Luke Voigt got traded today. Rizzo. Yep, Rizzo. Rizzo signed. Yep, and Voigt got traded to the Padres for a, a prospect. Right. Today. Speaking of the Padres, uh, their big guy got surgery last week. Well, that's right. Why am I Tatis forgetting? Jr. Tatis Jr. Boy, I like it. I like him a lot. Yeah, we talked about him. He's incre- we talked about him when he was a rookie. Yeah, yeah. Now here's a big deal that the the Blue Jays got uh, Matt Chapman from the A's, and the Jays on paper look good. Look at that infield with Vlad. Chapman's third base, right? Yeah, Vlad, Bichette, who's and the Chapman. Base? Who's the second base? Sermon. They're talking about Jose Ramirez. They're trying to get from Cleveland. Um, this team's good. I think the Jays. I Dude, mean, they were good last year. Yeah, and now they're just starting to spend money now. Vlad is something else, man. He's he's one I think MVP. Incredible. Yeah. And Bichette. And uh the I outf- think they have a Biggio too, Kevin Biggio. The outfield's not bad either though. No, they're they're good. It'll all be on pitching, I bet. For them. You know, where does the pitching go? That's always wins. Pitching always right. wins. It really does. But even if they wanted to, if they wanted a better second baseman, they can go ahead and talk to their shortstop or sign another like Trevor Story and see if he wants to play second base. Yeah, he's out there. Trevor Story, it's, Carlos Correa. It's not like Carlos Correa or Trevor Story are not like Javier Baez where he demanded he's playing shortstop. Right. They might be willing to slide over. True. You know what? Nick Castellanos is out there, too, if anyone if – he, he's good, outfielder. Right, right um, field, right? Yeah, he's good with the with Lions and with the Tigers. And uh, there's some other bums out there like Michael Conforto. I'm not a big fan of him from the Mets. Soler. Yes, Jorge Soler. And then it's kind of – Kind of to me, it looked a little weak. I mean, I wouldn't want Michael Pineda again after we saw him with New York and Minnesota. I don't know. Albert Pujols, he's a fifty-five. Because there is no age. We I'm don't like, know his. Yeah, we now. don't know his age. They say it's not true. The age they, they Are gave. Are you serious? Mm, I, think serious I, I, yeah. I think I've heard that one before. About and him. other players, I guess, coming from the Dominican and stuff, right? Venezuela, you just don't really know them. Like the, the like the one kid, like I think, what did he have a mustache? And <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, to, uh, yeah. Pitch it for the ten-year-old team. <laughs> Trevor, yes, yeah. <laughs> Trevor Story should be down to four teams left. Yeah. Boston, San Fran, and two unknown teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, unknowns. Yeah, could be. And and then yeah, but one thing before we go, Freddie Freeman. I didn't even mention it. But we should have. The Dodgers got him. Um, it's oh, one hundred sixty-two million. Olson too. Oh, that's right. He was traded as well. Yeah, a lot of first baseman movement uh, last two days. And again, the poor A's, as usual, just Are, uh, develop like a, players and they're like a farm team. Push them the, along. <laughs> the rest of the league. The Pirates <laughs> develop players and push them along. The Royals. Gosh, isn't that amazing? I mean, that's, that's literally what they do. They're like uh, an MLB like a farm, farm team. team. Yeah. It's sad, and it's got to stop. That's why, like Zach Greinke goes back to the Royals. They won the remember they won the World Series. The Royals. Right. Greinke goes back home. But that team is good. Yeah. Now though, these teams like Baltimore. It's sad. They are just horrible. And, the, and it no, seems as though there's no nothing prom- they can do about nothing it. Nothing promising inside. Yeah. No, I, I they even they got rid of every they, it, the couple guys they had. This I like isn't, this isn't a, but... a, a league that you can say does has anything to do with the cap space because it doesn't matter. You can yeah. have a cheap cap uh, payroll because there is no cap space. So you can have a cheap payroll, expensive payroll, like the Yankees and the, right. the Rays. Isn't that why players retire and then like five years later they're still like getting paid? Yeah. By... Robin, there's <laughs> something you got there? Yeah, uh, Kenneth Jackson in the message board asked. Uh, what you guys think about the Yankees signing Anthony Rizzo? Yeah, they needed a lefty bat anyway. 
Yeah, and I guess already that's, there. that's why Voight leaves, right? right? That's why they... Again, Stanton yeah. hogs up the DH spot. So where are you going to put Voight? Stanton was the one of the... I, I always thought that was the gift to Derek Jeter. When right. he was the, the, I thought he went before Jeter, though. I thought it had, that was Jeter's first move. I think or first I, I, blessing. I'm gonna look it up after. Yeah, we talked about this last week. We I did. Could have swore it was before. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, they should have just went after Yelich instead, and then there would be no problems right now. I know. Yeah. So Rizzo, you had to do it. I right, you had to do it. Yeah. You, and they still got the other guy. Who's the other guy? Why am I forgetting? DJ the Mayhew. No, the one they they brought in last year too with Rizzo, like in the same from uh, Gallo. Gallo's still there, right, Robin? Yeah, he's yeah. still there. But he's left field now. Is he? Is that where he's going? Well, he has to. He has What's to. his other position? Was third? Yeah, he's got to. Yeah, he's going. Yeah, he can't. Was he third. second? I think he's third. Well, it doesn't matter because DJ May, who's at second. Yeah. Which so I you'd, still you'd like. You go to left yeah. field, Judge stays at right field, center fielder. They still don't have a center fielder, do they? No. No. They haven't really had a center fielder in a very long Judge time. Judge might though. have to play. Center, no. I guess. Good job. He does well out there, but he should Well, if, out there. if he's not vaccinated, so he can't play the home games. Judge? He's not vaccinated. Is that going to change? That's got to change. Well, I was talking to my friend, and he's more into the uh, Yankees than I am. He said he probably won't make it a distraction. He'll probably just go ahead and get the vaccination if they don't lift it soon enough. They got to lift it. Because there's rumors that Kyrie's pushing them too much, that if playoffs come, they're just going to lift it where they don't need it no more. By now, they should. Yeah, right. It's time. Well, it doesn't make sense if Kyrie Irving can buy a ticket to the arena. I know, but he can't play. Next to the team, <laughs> that with is no mask, but can't side. play on the court. I can't believe that's still... It makes no and all these NCAA still, but... teams are coming to Buffalo, New York right now, and no mask. No mask. Real quick before we get off of baseball, Shohei Otani is my fa- one of my favorite players. Um, we talked about him last week where he pitches. He, he does everything. Um, well, here's another Japanese player. Uh, I'm going to Saya Saya Suzuki. Suzuki. Um, goes to the Cubs for five million eighty-five. Five years, eighty-five million dollar outfield. They claim he's the most exciting Japanese import since Otani. So. Um, Good for him, and the Cubs are kind of kind of go back to what they were. Sadly, seem like they are now I going that whole division. I can't I, believe they cut him so early; like they got rid of that core so quick. Yeah, that was a really dominating core. And I don't know why, because it's Chicago. We're not talking about Kansas City. That's a All big right. market. They got That's Stroman. a big place. Love yeah. me some Stroman. Makes no sense. But you know what? Let's get off of baseball. We'll have more than enough time for baseball, obviously, because at some point football's got to calm down. Guys, let's uh, get into the NFL and what happened since uh, since we were here last. Should we start off with the the biggest one today? Today, yeah, we got to go with uh, go tell everyone what they got. Yeah, Deshaun Watson went for almost less than Wilson. I just don't understand. I was only three first round picks, a third, a fifth, four Watson and a four. So essentially, it's three first round picks and a third for yeah. arguably a top five, top three in my opinion quarterback. And he, understand he sat off a year, but it's it's not like he wasn't working out. And then you know what's funny, and this is just a coincidence, and you guys probably already know this, but I don't know in the audience if you're thinking of it in 2017, uh, Houston trades with Cleveland to get yeah. Watson. Yeah, yeah. And now it comes. Isn't full, that crazy? Full it circle kind of comes full yeah. circle. I heard yeah. them talking about that. Yeah, the other isn't that something? Somebody um, put that together. Let's talk I want your that. thoughts on this deal. This is incredible. Nothing stops. And what do you what do you think? I know we're shocked because like yesterday we were talking I, about um, it. I, I did not expect Cleveland to climb back into it. Somehow they were able to. Obviously, they put up more money. I couldn't see him going to New Orleans. That team is horrible. I was shocked yeah. that they were even able. Remember, yeah. I had messaged you during the yeah. week, and I said I was shocked they were even able to get down low enough under the cap to be in the mix. Yeah, and they didn't cut anybody, so it's kind of like this, this yeah. cap is fake. Yeah, well, yeah, well, they they took that ridiculous contract that Taysom Hill had. That's and they restructured it, which is which it was a ridiculous contract. I don't know why that guy's got such a high contract. Like, yeah, they get it. Obviously, I don't. He's okay. I mean, he didn't blow me away, but I guess he's got something in there where if he plays the position of quarterback or something like that, he that's when it kicks it in. Yeah, yeah, it kicks in and it changes the rate. But yeah, I think uh, you know I wish this wouldn't happen for Cleveland because the way they did. Now I am no Baker Mayfield fan at all. I'm not a fan of the guy. He's a good football player, but I'm just not. I just his demeanor. I don't know. I didn't care for it when he first came into the league, and and then you see him on every other commercial, like Aaron Rodgers, and I can't stand when they get you know pushed out there like that. But the way Cleveland handled that, and to put their hat in the ring for that, and Baker Mayfield has absolutely no idea that they were about to do it, and then he requests a trade, and and, and once they find out they're no longer in the mix, it all happened pretty fast. He then requests a trade because how do you even come back from that? And they tell him no. Like, how do you expect that guy 
That would be like your boss coming in, saying, hey, John, you know what? I got your replacement. You know what? Mm-hmm. We're going to send you out of here. The guy comes in, fails the drug test. They go, hey, dude, come back. we need you to come yeah. back, man. We're going to come on, John. Give it all you got. Like, well, that happened. How could you expect it to That's happen? That's happened for the last two years with Miami. He did the exact same thing with Tua, yeah. Yeah, well, except Tua is far more of a man that he stayed. I understand. This is a little bit more high profile, though. Is that's? I mean, I mean, it's it's just it's ridiculous. They, I don't they know allowed, they allowed Deshaun Watson to do the exact situation to Miami for a calendar year, and Baker did it for two days, forty eight hours, and then folded and requested a trade. Watson was they were taught Miami's personal owner, the owner was trying to talk to these girls to settle to get him to play. I'm surprised Tua didn't ask to get out of there. But he's a man. He's not a Baker Mayfield. He's not scared. It doesn't mean you're a man. No, he's it a doesn't sissy. make you a man because you ba- get shit on and then you just Baker's wipe your sissy. face and you take give me some more. Cleveland. I'm just saying with the whole thing with the, and I I only mean it as a culmination of of other things right. like the who knows what's going on with the Brian Flores lawsuit and all that stuff. Like for Tua, for a guy that young, they did him wrong big time to keep right. pulling him out of games and and that yeah, I agree 100. percent I I'm shocked that his agent didn't request. Just because of the way they dicked him around so much, I'm just kind of if anyone would have deserved wants, to that he still wants to play there. Right. You know, he did surprising. it. He did it in Alabama too. Cleveland, though, right now they had to do this. Is this they, puts them in a good spot? They're Dude, they're, they're, they're in the play. They're, they're 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 they could be a Super Bowl contender next year. No top, doubt about they're it. They're top four in the league right now. They're no running. They're well, running we're also game. expecting Deshaun Watson. Now I know he's great, and I said I'm a fan of the guy, yeah. but we're not. You know, he still hasn't played in a long time, and he's got to come back. And get back into it again. So it's probably going to take him a few weeks. But this did happen to him before, where Deshaun Watson tore his ACL, so he missed a significant time and came back with no significant no sluggish. Yeah, yeah. I the the Browns are good. They're running. I guess game. I mean they're, it's a wait and see thing. But two, uh, they got Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper. He's there. And but whatever. his entire yeah. contract, yeah. people's whatever. People's the hardest jumps. thing I bet you was trying to get them all to guarantee all that money. I mean, they guaranteed oh, every penny. I've never that's heard of that in my life. I have never seen you, that. I've never heard ever. of that. I would have given it to well, him immediately. But I never heard of that. So this I, is the I, first. The only way the only way I wouldn't give it to him is if he does get jail time. Every time he gets, every game that he misses for this lawsuit, some of it comes back somehow. I'm How sure about he goes out there something. in the second week of the season and he blows out his knee? Same with I don't hope for that. No, he gets his all. money. Right. Yeah. They're on the hook. Yeah. I mean, that's the that's – I it. can't believe that a team actually – if that's what he – I mean, he got everything he wanted. He was in the driver's seat for this, man. I mean, let's not forget, though, last year, too, he also sat out on his own. He didn't have to. He right. chose he to do that. Play, yeah. So well, that's all on him not, not being out I'm there. Sup- but, I mean, I'm glad he, that's over. I'm he bet, he bet on it. himself and it paid off significantly. He He's sure in did. a far better situation. He got very lucky because it could go either way. Oh, if you got the right people listening to what is being said, I don't. obviously we don't know until it comes out, but right. that, he had all hinged on how that person took what was said to them in that courtroom that day. I mean, he got lucky. Because we don't we don't know what happened yet, so I'm not passing judgment. And we'll never on know. This full year is going to go by, and we won't know anything. Right? If this could last. This could last two years, three years. Who knows? I, I don't sure. know how long. Well, they say what? I think he might get suspended six games at the start of the season. The That's what I heard. Probably won't even happen until 2023. Season. That's what I'm saying. I think the Browns know. They had to have known. You know what I mean? Kind of with the well, league. The, all these what's teams have happen. to have some you know, kind of an idea to invest that kind of money. Yeah, they sure. know from the league. Yeah, they knew what He's about good. a suspension would yeah. be and when it would. Yeah. I just think that there's so much. But anyways, like I'd have thought Mayfield would have been a perfect fit so, to go to Houston. Yeah. Why not ship him there? Send him to Houston in this deal. I thought they didn't be... want him. Yeah, I guess they didn't want him. And, and now, now where now do you think Baker's going to go? Now he's got a bank on the who's, Colts. Who's a team that's on, a, on the cut? Co- he's going to have the bank Andy's on the Andy. Perfect fit. That's yeah. that's the perfect setup for them right New now. Orleans. They don't really because they were left with what hoping they could get Jimmy G or maybe trying to get Mariota or somebody like that over there. New Orleans is going to be something. Least, at least Mayfield is, is the type. I mean, I feel bad because that guy went out on that field. He drug his ass out on that field for them last year. And I'm telling you this, cause, and I don't like right. Baker Mayfield at all. But I was impressed that he went out there every week still falling apart. He was like half a man by that point, and he still went out and played every week. Tried to win. And they, man, he got shit on, and I feel bad for that. They, That's wrong. He see, really I, put his was body... The- the Browns organization was, was stupid. I don't know if they should have let him out there. Yeah, they should. They should have pulled him. Really. Right, case. but at the same time, at the same time, he's he he goes out there. It's on him, and he he drove Odell Beckham out of there. He was a terrible quarterback. Deserves to be replaced. Deserves to be on the bench. Did they ever come out and say what exactly drove Odell out of there? Right. Well, obviously, was it singularly the, Baker being, Mayfield being wide open happened. and then the ball being thrown fifty feet away from you? It's just why am I running routes if you're not even going to hit me? They showed the video, and the, his dad said in the video. He's open. We can go back and watch any Do game. I mean, I got. I bet you every wide receiver's just, dad I, could give send out a video. How do you, how do I know you what not you're saying. Win games and have an elite quarterback progression. And you're sure. throwing a Jarvis Landry, Peoples Jones is 
really good. And two tight ends, you got the crazy backfield, and you're just underperforming. You well, don't that, not only that, why did they, if they got Baker Mayfield, and they this is what I didn't understand about Cleveland's game plan or what they're going to do going forward. You've got that, you've got a, a top running back, and you want to pound the ball. So why did you trade for Deshaun Watson? Why? Wow. I, I mean, are you going to all of a sudden air it out? Because you got you got Chubb. I mean, what are you going to do? He should only throw the I ball. I mean, that, why do you not? see what I'm saying? Yeah. They're almost set up like Indianapolis is, where Smart you're more league. of a run first right. team. And right, so why are you why are you spending like, that much money on your quarterback? But now you're running it even when better. you're running the ball. Now you're running it even better. I think though. you're. Yeah, I think it. I think it's what you. Get. I know. Understand? Do you what understand you're what I'm oh, saying? Oh, I do. But I think because it's, they seem to turn it's to necessary. Yeah, they it's, want to run the ball. I don't you know? think you can win without it, though. Like oh, you, I know you can't win. I know so it's just like Indy's not going to win unless they get somebody that can throw the rock, but. It's a perfect mix. I don't know how it's going to work out. If I'm India, I'm not geez. even bothering with Baker. I'm going right to Matt Ryan. Or get Winston. Say, hey, exactly what happened to Tua. Well, what happened, what, exactly what happened to yeah, Tua Baker. How it settles. Come on over. And they were stuck in the position after everybody's gone. It's There's waiting no to see how the chips fall now to see who they could possibly get. Matt Ryan got is the same kind of exact way. Dude, yeah. how about that? Hey, you know what your bonus? Yeah, you know what? Even though it's signed, he agreed to it. Tuesday. He agreed really? That's on him. Having something going on over there? Our friend Charlie Turner sent a message board, and he wants to know um, if the NFL is going to suspend Watson. They've already said that. They, they, I, I don't from know what when. I heard, they're saying it's almost guaranteed. It won't even be until 2023, I just though. think it's going to be. I think they said like six weeks possibly. I think it'll be down the road. I, but they I, have Case Keenum anyway. I think, though, it'll be down the road because we aren't going to know any results of anything. Civil cases. Right. It could be. It, look, it, I from just some experience I have, it could be five years. Who the oh, hell those lawyers knows could, they, how long Christ, Lawyers those. have a tendency in those situations to milk it as long and as they can. If so. at some point it is believed that it's more expedient for him to just say, all right, here's this, here's this, here's this. I don't have to admit anything. Here you go, here you go, right. here you go. Then it's really gone, which is a fucked up situation. But, it, but it, it's, it's more, how it could It's happen. closer to the reality of it very well this could happening. Happen. I think it's closer to that happening than it getting solved this year. Oh, it's not. Yeah, no. I think there's no chance that he misses a single game via this. With this amount of money he just got, he can pay whatever he's going to have to pay to make sure everyone just says if, goodbye. If you, if you think and, he's paying that by you know, himself so, and that Cleveland owner's not stepping in and helping him. Oh, there's going to be a lot of stepping in. Every yeah, single yeah. endorsement's going to be helping him secretly. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. The rich. Yeah, sure, because they're going to want him out let's, on the field. They're not going to want anything let, to hamper him. We got a plan. Let's turn to something else. Devontae Adams. Goes to I the was Raiders, shocked at that. Uh, for I a first and a second. I think uh, we, Devontae turned down more money from what I understood. We talked about Green this Bay. several, several times. Mm-hmm. You and I, uh, weeks ago, um, Devontae Adams, when we even talked about free agency back when the season was going on, we talked about Devontae Adams going to the Las Vegas Raiders. It was just, just like a it just unwritten. It was car, just yeah. going to happen. It finally happened. He turned down less money because he didn't want to be there. If you think about it, you got Derek Carr or somebody else, or do you want to stay in Green Bay? And have Rodgers for only four more years. Tops. You got a four year window or an unlimited window. Right. No, I agree. I, I thought I was and Derek Carr's his best friend. Yeah, and it, it all fits well. I mean the Raiders look like they're gonna be some sort of contender for a playoff spot. It just obviously. sucks at the division they're in. Yeah. I mean yeah. they're gonna be good. How about can, yeah, can, and so, can, can we talk about that briefly? Just the, that? The, that division. Those they're gonna eat themselves alive in that division. I'm glad that's where they're all at. Go ahead and kill yourselves off over there. Well, yeah, in the West it's the Bills got the easiest division of all so far because all those quarterbacks seem to be just be going to that division. All the players seem to be going, going to the West. Offensive somehow. Anything. But then the it's North amazing. is pretty solid now, too, though. The it's North amazing. Is good I mean, too. dude, yeah. how, how yeah. do you even com- look at It's almost like a complete switch. Now all the quarterbacks are in the AFC. We're not that long ago. It was, in the you NFC. You know, it was yeah. like Matt Ryan and Aaron Rodgers and all those just, guys. In their yeah, it just seemed to flop back but over. But it's not even just the quarterbacks now, though. It's like it's a top-of-the-line player. There are these quarterbacks that are on the AFC are on complete teams, too. Yeah. Like, before you had, like, quarterbacks on the NFC team, but they were meh teams. But now you got elite teams with elite quarterbacks. Yeah, it's it How just, are teams that are rebuilding ever supposed to keep up with these people? I know. it. Well, I agree. The Chargers... I, uh, you go know, ahead. Another thing we can just go to while we're on the divisions. Sure. The Chargers go ahead and they they pick up J.C. Jackson in free yeah. agency. Probably one of the best two. I think I had him as number two free agent behind Armstead. Uh, I'm not really sure where I had him, but he was definitely top three. And then they uh, trade for, we talked about last week, but traded for Cleo Mack. And this just, league is a joke. They're just crushing it. Like the, This league's a joke. Until you finally rein in what every, this salary cap means nothing. It's garbage. It's bullshit. It, it, 
then th this league will never change. It's going to always be like that. I mean, you, you then how more, is it that some so, of these teams, no more and, and I'm serious, how is it? Is it just that the Masters, how is it some of these teams, like say San Diego this year, look at the amount of money that they're blowing and the talent that they're bringing in. How is it that the other teams are, is it just because the owners don't have that extra, like where's the signing bonus come from? Is that just out of the owner's? Well, pocket, that's also right? that also has to yeah. do with the big market team, though. Like you're in LA, right? So, that, so. That, that's what I'm saying. So it's just not. It's, it's not like fair. It, so unless you've got an owner that's got shit tons of money, Correct. and you're in a small market, you're screwed. You're never going to get anybody, right? Do Which is like we draft. like we go to and we'll talk about. We talked about like the Cincinnati Reds and Baltimore and baseball. Like they, these, it's not fair to be a small market team having to compete with these people. Like we go to basketball, Sacramento Kings. I have to try to keep up with these people. It's just not that's fair. why I'm glad the Dallas Cowboys it's not suck. Fair. Well, that's why. Well, that's like, <laughs> and they are making all the worst and, decisions. By the way, and I, Buffalo I love that. is the perfect example. They they struck it on the quarterback. That's, well, we got all, that's all they needed. But we don't. Yeah, because now, you, now the, you've got the allure. If, if it went the other way, to bring well, Devon Miller said it in yeah. his press conference. They yeah. asked him, and he said he was one. By the way, I don't know how many people knew about it, but it was brought up that. Said by uh, in the press in an interview I had heard on on the radio that it was going around the two uh, big time free agent defensive free agents approached the Bills to combine. One was J.C. Jackson, the other one we now found out was Von Miller. That's who it was. So he asked them because he had made that's awesome. He thought he was going to get drafted by Buffalo. He said he bought Buffalo gear and everything oh, wow. before the draft. Like I never knew all that. About no, him. we never. He heard said that. Yeah. he said this is almost like coming not coming home, but you know. Well, Making up for not getting drafted. But, I mean, what I'm saying is, like, with Buffalo, they get Allen, uh, lucky, sure, but whatever, good pick. Mm -hmm. And um, if they don't, if it's some guy who doesn't pan out, Bigger now they're just like... We're back in the cycle. You know, we're back with the other teams that, we're, that I'm talking yeah. about. Where, Jesus, why aren't you... Because You're trying would be the to draw point? the Deshaun yeah. Watson to your, to your team. So, so it's all... I'm surprised Cleveland got him for that, that reason as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I Because know. they're not that... I mean, they're not a big market team. No, like right. like the like the Saints or Atlanta. Or I, I'm really shocked. But there's people out there like LeBron that were recruiting him. There was people out there that for Atlanta, the rappers were. Recruiting well, I guess him. I would also take Cleveland. into it if if I was him, which like I don't know how much talk there was prior to that. Is like look at how they treated Baker Mayfield. Like look at the way they've treated some of their players. That's more why I was surprised right. he would go there because look, he was being so picky. Look about at Cream Hunt. Like people forgot that he kicked that girl in her face. Yeah. True. And they then they go ahead and bury it for him. Yeah. Joe Mixon. And then another thing. He's a perfect. He's, well, that's Ohio still, but yeah. I mean, he, he punched the girl in the face. Yeah. I mean, it's right on camera, right there. Yeah, yeah. And he knocked her in the next week. Everyone celebrates yeah. him. So what are you going to do? It's I called mean, if you have. Yeah. Well, it's no. unfortunate, man. People yeah, yeah. with money and, and a name, I mean, on, they just, don't have to follow the same right. rules. They don't get held to the same standards that we do. But why don't we, uh, real quick, let's talk about something else that happened. Uh, Chandler Jones to the to the Raiders. I'm just trying to think of stuff that have the happened Raiders, here. The Raiders, the Raiders are huge. Chandler Jones Huge. picked Vegas. Vegas then traded. I'll never be able to say his name, but Oweyau. They yeah. traded their pass rusher number ninety one. They traded him for Rocky Sin to Indianapolis right. to get a corner. So they replaced their pass rusher. And just so everybody knows, Chandler Jones and Max Crosby have been trying to get this done for a very long time. They talk to each other every time after a game. They're really very close friends. This is going to be an interesting and team. helped him recruit them. It's going to be an interesting. Is it going to work? It's going to be interesting because everyone, and I like to hear this when you got a team, but friendships are incredible. We're hearing. That's awesome. Especially yeah. Vegas. So, yeah. like it's the Devontae yeah. Carr, Matt, that, that's, that's, that's going to be, that's, that's probably going to be pretty that's electric. That's when you, that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they already know how each other work. It, it's, it, like they already know all their little nuances, yeah. their little moves. That they, you know, they know so much These about personal each other. These personal relationships, awesome. it's coming to a time They're where gonna this They're going to be better is, than Denver. Well, I guess it'll be as far as Carr could take him if he can stay healthy. I think they might be better than Denver. And I honestly think Denver. I mean, how good's their offensive line? I, I didn't pay a lot of attention to the Raiders last year. Not bad. Didn't they, I mean, didn't no, he get hit a lot? It's not bad at all. No, no, no. They but were... they got Josh Jacobs, Kenyon Drake. Yeah. They got. Uh, oh, I know they have didn't Josh Jacobs, and Josh Jacobs got hurt last year. Renfro. Too. Yes, that Renfro. guy. Hunter that Renfro. Kid, yeah. yeah, I like him. Man. Man. Waller. Guy, He's a beast. Yeah. No, it's a good. Oh yeah, no, yeah they Waller. got. They all of a sudden are incredible team. Now instead of think about it, Adams instead of just possibly making the playoffs, now they should be expected. Obviously, they're going to be expected to make them this year. Yeah. Also, this free agent class had two people back out of contracts. So but yeah. on Monday, don't forget it's a tampering period. Last Monday was a tampering period that lifted. Wednesday is when they could actually sign at four o'clock. J.C. McKissick backed out, probably kicking himself even more for that. But hey. 
I have no idea if he has a family, and I would understand like changing your kids. Well, they said West Washington had never even offered him anything. Right, and, the, and then they matched so, it. But I, so I get it. If I'm them, that's I'd rather sense. stay where I was because I'm not moving my children from this school. This sure, year, that's, that's a definite, absolutely. I, for one year deals, I'm not leaving for right. a one year deal. I said last week, one year deals are stupid. It's just dumb. Um, and then there's another one, the Smith. Smith. Right? Yep, yeah, yeah, backed out of a deal with, to go back to Baltimore, I think. From Green Bay, right? Yeah. I think he went to Baltimore, Green well, Bay, and he was going to go back. Let's and back not forget, down. Randy Gregory did that as well to Dallas. Yes, he did. He, he they they tweeted Denver, it yeah. out and everything, and then they stuck that little line in the contract. With that they line, didn't talk about, what they I did guess. in the contract, they do to every Cowboys player. is It's in everybody's contract. Except if you get Dak Prescott. But there's a quarterback. That's different. You can't even put them in there. He's a player on the team. What are you if, talking about? If you, if you, if, you can't if, do it if, the, if everybody on the team does it. I guess. But if you get suspended, Cowboys players... Yeah. Lose money. Just cost him Randy Gregory. So as long as it works out for him, I guess it's all good. Well, that's why would they make an exception for Dak Prescott? Oh, well, he's a quarterback. Well, doesn't matter. He's, every I player guess. on the team is held to a standard, and he's not. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, I the, the, quarter, the quarterback's really? always. Held I don't so, know. If that's so a good quarter, thing. So the quarterback can go to park a lot, smoke a bong, but everybody else can't. Maybe. Correct, right? <laughs> like, 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 legit. That's what I'm saying. Well, I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. The, the, so they all got to watch and get me. a contact on. Your, your team <laughs> loses if Josh Allen doesn't show up. Your team doesn't lose if Stephon Diggs doesn't show up. It's true. Your I team, agree with your that. team can win without Stephon Diggs. They, they cannot can't win, win without Allen. Right? Yeah. Like, how did you Dallas' can... defense do without Gregory, Gregory last Fine. year? Fine. They were hurting, weren't they? Who cares about Gregory? He, he, he has the guy's a premier player. But I'm saying he's a premier player in the league. The quarterback just. Runs the fucking deal. Oh, no, I under, I, you, do you, you understand know? what the point oh, that I'm do, trying oh, to make? Oh, I do. I'm not trying to be a smartass. But they don't care. I'm making a point. Yeah. If yeah. you're going to make every yeah. player on the team, oh, I, that's, I mean, it should be every player on a team. I'm surprised that's there is my a opinion. problem there. I'm surprised there. I'm sure there is. If that's the case, I'm sure there is rumbling. I'm sure there is. Sure. People are, they yeah. probably um, just assumed he had signed it. I'm sure. Most of them. Go ahead. What were you going to? Another thing. The wide receiver market kind of broken from the first one of the three signings. The first three signings were all receivers. Christian Kirk decides to go for 21 per. That's nuts. Yeah. I'm more and, shocked at the Zay Jones contract. And the, if we're going to do about like a winners and losers <laughs> while we're here, while we're at it, we might as well just go with that oh, because he said Zay Jones, God. Christian Kirk. The losers. the biggest losers, and I've seen this on other media sites, is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Sure, their quarterback might have been a winner last week because he got targets, but you overpaid Christian Kirk for more money than Julio, almost more money than Julio Jones was making last year. And then, yeah, you'll get, and then not only do you do that, you, you get a slot receiver, and your only receiver that you had was a slot receiver, Chenault. Right. Now you're going to trade Chenault. So now you made a lateral move. Me and John used to talk about this all the time, about lateral moves. Yeah. Buffalo, Buffalo used to do it all the time. But it made lateral moves. And then you get, go ahead and get Evan Ingram. You had a good tight end, and Arnold. It's just, and then you cut Miles Jack to make room for these guys. Yeah. You're just, yeah, no, it's a, you're just going sideways and then going backwards with Miles Jack. Losers. Jacksonville Losers. does this all the time. They're, they're horribly. They, they do this. They do they, this all the time. They're headed to London. All the time. That's another team that should be losing. All their, the time. I'm telling Going you, to London. There's either. some teams that need to be stripped away from their team, and they're one of them. <laughs> Off to London. I just sometimes can't understand. Like, why would you set that market like that? I mean, why would you pay Zay? Well, I, I don't even understand it. Zay Jones isn't even like he's like yeah, a it's third outrageous. wide receiver yeah. on most teams. Right. You know what I mean? I just don't understand why you. So set that market like Miami that. Miami signed Cedric you know? Wilson, yeah. which was had a good season with Dallas last year, for less money than Zay Jones. It's not. Yeah. It, uh, speaking of wide receiver, Allen Robinson to the Rams. I mean, we talked about I'm him surprised before, he so. waited. I'm surprised that took so long for and, him to go And somewhere. now Robert Woods is on the block. Well, I, everybody was waiting on Sean Watson. Robert Woods. He's a great Every single receiver, person man. was waiting on Watson. Yeah, Watson had to go. Armstead yeah, was the one true. that I was, I've been waiting for Armstead all week. He's holding up the Dolphins. There's I, no way the Dolphins don't have an offer for him. And if Watson went to New Orleans, he was going to stay in New Orleans. Mm. Yeah, if Robert, if Robert Woods is healthy, that guy's money. Oh, he's good. Yeah. He is quite. You never really, injuries, you never really right? heard his name. Yeah. But yeah. God, the guy would, he just catches everything. And now you talk about Miles Jack to Pittsburgh. Nice. Yeah, well, nice that's a them. nice signing. Even though I did like Showbert, I'm surprised they caught him. They caught him. I did like that guy. Though. Yeah. You know, I liked him a lot. We talked about uh, Billy and Ben Miles Jack. Last week. Jack. Bates he, That's another good one. He signed today. Today with Dallas. For $3 right? million. Dollars. Beautiful. How stupid that is, $3 million. Dollars. How about Tyrod Taylor going to the Giants? That interested me a lot. I think that's a good move. Yeah, he's got a place I, to compete. Yeah. I thought that's it was that's good, why, yeah. yeah and that's I like good that. thing. And Dable. Well, Dable, Dable was he? St- no, he, no. No, he wasn't around with Dable. 
It's a good move, though. It I is mean, a great. It's a great move. I mean, I feel so bad for Tyrod, man. I it, mean, the guy gets an oh, opportunity, he got punctured and then lungs. he gets his lung punctured. When that they, was outrageous. Oh, hey, man, there's, that was there's still a lot of available free agents great out there, though. One. I know, incredible. Great free agent. There's the big best, time the best linebacker of the whole time, Bobby Wagner, because again he was cut, so he was a light yeah, position. He's, still he's out there. Armstead is the my, I think my I number believe. one free agent I had was Armstead, but again he was waiting on Watson to see if he was going to stay. Mm-hmm. Leo Collins got cut. I'm surprised that the Miami Dolphins did not go ahead and send a third round pick for him. He plays to his blind side. That doesn't make much sense. Um, what's another one? Uh, Stephon Gilmore still out still there. there. Tyron Honey Badger Matthews is out there. No, he's signed. I didn't know. Not that I know of. No, he is out there. You're right. I'm sorry. They replaced him. Somebody signed. What with do you them. think about what do you think about that your your buddy in Pittsburgh, man? Which what do you one? think? Oh Jesus. Well What do you think? Ty- Tyrod Taylor. They, could Trubisky. that could that be the, the setup that he needs to succeed? I don't know. No. I no? don't know. I mean with maybe, that team, I mean, with that offense? I guess he could turn around different and different style. If they won't if they just maybe. Maybe if they'll just hand the ball off and let him only throw 20 times. Like play more to his strengths. 22 they times. Signed, they also signed your guy, Jason Daniels. Yeah, and that, he's so overrated, it's a joke. I'm very it's interesting to outrageous. see what, how Trubisky plays. I really am. I can't wait to see his Well, like we said last week. This game's going to be one of the most games. If I was Trubisky, I wouldn't have signed until after the draft. Because now you're going to – I mean, I guess that's the only place he would have went to. Because who else needs a quarterback? Well, if he would have waited until after the draft. But now he's got a – now he's going to have a, a shitty a quarterback situation. class coming here. And now he's going to compute the quarterback class again. Yeah, because they're planning on drafting a quarterback, too, I believe. They should. The right. There's one out of Liberty. But we'll get to the draft eventually. We'll have, they, we have plenty of time for that. Trubisky's got to take what he's got coming to him. Sure. I don't know. But is that all he got if teams are worried about paying him $10 million per? Hey, man, he's lucky he got an opportunity. I think a lot of it's incentive later in this contract. Why, why does not Haskins get a chance? There's an issue. Yeah, wasn't he cut? They, I don't know what's up with weird, that. I they really don't know. They, cut. they, they, weird, they did something around. weird. He was around, it's, and it's all a of a sudden, can leave if he wants. Something like that, pretty much. <laughs> it was almost like if you want to go, go. It's like you have <laughs> you know, one. You foot stay. Out the you know, that's what it seems like. Yeah, <laughs> something weird. I mean, something's up with him, though. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I I can't understand. It if it, it's what it's it is. It's not the guy who runs his mouth, is it? No. Oh, okay. Haskins is from Ohio State. Yeah, it doesn't say much. Just very underperforming. Yeah, it was since he came into the league. Very weird. Very, very, very strange for him. I, I don't know. That's uh, makes fun of the Bills. For who? Oh, Von Miller. He was Why? upset with Von Miller. Why? It's like a three-year contract. What's, what's a big deal? Money, man. Chandler Jones is similar money. Think but, about when they signed Mario Williams. Almost. Mario Williams, six-year, $96 million dollar contract. And, oh, I'm sorry. And that was how long ago? <laughs> you know what I mean? All in, though. The Bills are all in. They got to win. They have two years. Sure, you know win what? The Super Bowl. Like the next said, year. The salary caps bullshit. Are they all in? So are they all in? I, I would take it. Be. How? This is the closest all in I've know, ever seen. How many, how many players did Buffalo sign last week? I'll I'll tell you six. Let okay. me tell you where they play. D end, D end, D end. Tackle, tackle, tight, tackle, tight end. So seven. Okay. Three at D tackle. Now they go ahead until Sarla Tule was cut. They got three D tackles to go ahead and play with uh, Ed Oliver. So why do you have so many of those? And then edge rusher, you go ahead and bring bombs back. Bombs. They were cut from the Dolphins and cut from the Jets. Shaq Lawson is a bomb. Shouldn't even be on the team. You bring him they back. They might cut him. They may cut him. Why do you have four? The Bills might cut him. You, actually, s- you still don't him. have a corner on the other side. Okay. Yeah, they if you have, haven't even gotten to, what's to the all preseason in? yet. So what's we all don't in? even know if all these guys what's will be on the team. Wow. Well, actually, those guys were signed to not very big contracts, and they asked to come back. Nobody went looking for them. They say no. They both asked to come My back. Ex-girlfriends, come why on? not? They hey, got depth, and they back. played no. good in that defense. <laughs> no, right? They, 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 no. they didn't know they were going to Here's a Dolphins team that was going to pay the co- try to pay the coach to lose the football games or anything. Yeah, you know, that's right? or the owner was going to try to make the team lose. They didn't want to go to but, Buffalo when they never but, won a Super Bowl. We can't ever. even compare My, to Bills and Dolphins. Come on. Right? My we got point, a Super Bowl win. We have a Super Bowl win in 1970s, dude. Wait, what do we got? Wait, you were there. When's second. the last time you won the AFC East? What? What time? What do we have? You won it once a Super in Bowl. How many what? years? Super in Bowl? how many years? When? <laughs> I'm the, who's that? What's this? That's Buffalo knocking when? on the Super Bowl door, baby. Okay, what's this? Can't even hear it. And Can't even hear it down the street. There's, there's Deshaun Watson closing that <laughs> door. The Dolphins ain't even got a door to knock on down there. Now, guys, let guys, me go back to where go I was. Let me go back oh. where I went. <laughs> Oi, vey. Oh, the me team go. that can't get a single free agent to sign with them. They did them all last year, though. <laughs> did they, you see yeah. what's-his-name on Twitter? That was well, hilarious. They, they I loved it. I, I know that was you. hysterical. 
But listen to me. What my point was about the Bills, all it, they, I think they have to be. Sure, they got this be. window closes. Boom. You got two years. You, you try to land. Something. You try, yeah. Yeah, you try to land the players. The, you can land, man. You're calling the Von Miller is all in though. Like just, I guess I in their eyes, I would have threw that no. money. I would have threw that money at two different corners. I would think in the Bills' eyes, it, it is. just doesn't make any sense. You didn't need another pass rusher. I we didn't need another pass rusher. Our no, pass rushers aren't really we're really getting you spent, the quarterback. The I'm last not, your best so they last, take and they the try last, and if they don't succeed they try. The again. last two years their best three draft picks went towards edge rushers. Okay. Then they go ahead and overpay this guy. Okay. He's thirty two years old. You okay? Flash and he's gonna when he play next to it'll uh, pay uh, Aaron Donald. Dividends. It'll pay off it in more than you can even imagine. Yeah, if, he can, he's going to be able to help Greg Rousseau. So you're, he's going to be able to help. help. Him. He's going to be able to help tutor guys so and mentor guys to that, turn them into better players. Perfect. And that's exactly they most likely. I'm sure room. that's more of the reason that they brought. That's the still, nail on the head. He's still there. He's still got a little bit. He's that's not going to give you 15 sacks. Any can happen. But what he's going to give those guys as far as helping them to to mentor them and be better players. Facts. It's. Do you sit it's, him? You can't even put a price Back. tag on it. So that. now, John, to answer what you started this conversation with, with the Bills, what he just said, a win now. One second, a win now team is you. Are you bringing in a, a mentor, or are you bringing in somebody to stop a receiver? Didn't I not just say that he's still a player? Oh Jesus! He's, I'm throw, I, I, I'm, I got it. You're bringing somebody. You ain't much. A mentor. You, you don't you're, need you're a mentor. You're picking my. You're picking my statement apart. I said. He's not going to get you 15 sacks. Correct. He's still a good player. He still gets to the quarterback. Top five player last year, by the way. And you're still going to get production out of the guy, and he's going to mentor. That's why players Now you take do your, your last time. two draft picks off the field, though, and now you have no why? cornerback on the other side. Well, Dude, the like draft hasn't even out. got. There's still corners so in you free go, agency. Okay, free so agency the win whatever. now is out of the way. What? I don't understand. Why would you not get a corner instead of another pass rusher? You signed three pass rushers last weekend and two defensive tackles. What's they, the point? They obviously are not it's happy in that department. So, um, do you think every player that's on there right now is going to be on the team when they when they start right. opening day? They're not. They're bringing in people to compete. They're finding the, the only the best, team. The best corner that they you. have yeah, just towards ACL. Nothing. They feel that they they the pass everyone. rush hasn't been enough in the last couple of years. I'm so, so they, every year he Basically, tries, he everyone. tries. Brandon Bean <laughs> said it in his press conference. He still wasn't happy with where the pass rush is. He's going to get. You know what? They, a great, great Hall of Fame, soon to be Hall of Fame player in Von Miller, and he's going to help him tutor those other guys and actually give those guys opportunities by who knows possibly getting doubled on the other side. I mean, what? it's going to open up opportunities for everybody. That's why I look. Yeah, I look at well, like. Let's move on. And my money. Plus no, no, you're right. <laughs> right. A couple things before we go because there's other players. That, sure. Right, what's that? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, Landry, your guy, what do you think? What's I was, happening? If I was him, I'd just go say sorry and go back to Cleveland. Yeah, he should say sorry. I would say sorry, too. Please bring me back because I got Well, not money. sorry. He deserved what he yeah, did. Yeah, no, all right, maybe not sorry. He deserves but, the money because hey. he turned the culture around, yes. Yeah, give but, me, hey, maybe, come back. Maybe yeah. I'll do that restructure. Maybe. I don't know. blame him. Yeah. But Will Fuller's going there. There's not a chance he doesn't. Will Fuller's good if he I'm could stay God, healthy. God, he floats around. Man, guys, he's a hired gun if there ever was one. If he could stay Will healthy, Will Fuller. Will Fuller. Will Fuller's only played for two teams. If he could stay healthy, could you imagine? Why am I oh, thinking? Oh, wait. You Will about? Fuller's only played for one team because he played three snaps with Miami, and we're not counting that. You might be thinking of somebody. Will Fuller is yeah, only, he, been know, his number one guy over there. Houston, right? Houston's only his my, Will there. Fuller. He would be great if he would just be healthy. Well, really he didn't, like him. Oh, he's athletic. He didn't want to be healthy, though. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was trying to go to Miami because he thought Watson was going to go there. He's going to follow Watson wherever he goes. So now, um, the, the only thing we have left to talk about is, um, really, I think we hit it all. Uh, I, I like Raheem Mostart for your guys. I can't see why that's a bad, bad that was, mover. That's pretty much. That's, that's pretty cool. That that's a good happen, one. Yeah. You know, tough runner. Yeah, if, yeah. Like, if he's, if he's back to that entry, he should be solid. Bridgewater goes back home to Miami and to go play with Devontae Parker. That's a Devontae good idea to back up. I mean, I, I like that. Good he was Devontae them. Parker's college teammate. Um, I hate to bring Buffalo second. up. I Big really do, but I'm going to bring them up. I, oh, here we God go. forbid. Um, and this will be quick, and then I'm going to read that, and then we got to go home. Um, this is my take on them, and you can tell me because oh, you're, the, you're the guy. Well, I'm not here. the guy, you but I, just, I, got the, I got an opinion, but go ahead. Right. I'll All try right. to help you. Work me through it here. Let's and you go. can obviously, uh, I, everyone, Mary. everyone speak if they like. Just start yelling. Um, <laughs> 90s. I got to go back there. 
They were dynamic, incredible, mm -hmm. unbelievable. They couldn't run. They had Thurman Thomas, but they couldn't run. They could not chew the clock. That's right, why right. they lose to New York. That's why they sure. get steamrolled by everyone else in those Super Bowls. Great in the AFC, though, right? Mm -hmm. There's no one better. Man, why does this team give me the feeling of the dynamic offense, still can't take any time off the clock, everyone's exhausted, here we are now, we can't stop the Chiefs or whoever. And do you see what I'm saying? Like, when does the come time to, to just commit to run? Well, like, I mean, they, run to. Well, I, I know what you mean. And I think, I think because they had subpar, I'm not a big Singletary fan. Yeah, I don't even care. And I'm not a big Zach Moss yeah. fan. I like Zach Moss coming in, and then I, I don't know what happened to him. But uh, they obviously need help in the running back area. But I think it more it was always the running back good, offensive line bad, offensive line good, running back not so fantastic. But they did try, and it, they it, this was out there during one of the NFL shows that I saw this week, right. where they did try to make a trade for uh, for Christian McCaffrey, and the Panthers said no. Why? Because they were still in the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes. Mm -hmm. So after that, I think Buffalo had already spent their you know blue right. wad at that point, so they're not gonna. Revisited or Carolina wasn't even willing to. And my thing is, though, even with Singletary or Moss or whomever it is, mm -hmm. give them 20. they got to get 20 carries, even if it's between them or not just 10, because not just what, 12. Because when you're only getting two or three yards a carry and, and you're not getting it but all it, the time, you know what I mean? Yeah. When, when you start falling behind and you're playing teams that are scoring, you have no choice. Go I mean, you got to start scoring points. I mean, I know people love Miami to run the ball, back. but, dude, you're a passing offense. One of the best. Yeah. You're a passing they just offense, don't and win. that's why they don't have a big-time mm -hmm. player in the running right. back position to, See, to do the that scary, The part that I would be concerned, and I don't give a f I don't care, but the team I like doesn't even mess with your two guys' teams at all. They have no, they have <laughs> no it's bearing. Okay if they did. It's fun. But, it's fun to talk. But I'm saying is, okay. if they do not... I, I, I don't even know why I'm concerned. I'm concerned for them because if they don't learn, if that doesn't happen, I can't see them winning a Super Bowl. If they do not be able to turn around, hand the ball off with some three and a half yards of carry, whatever you can do, get something because it was evident and obvious against the Chiefs. Everyone was tired. Everyone was shot. You know, both defenses. They were just right. because no one wants to. Right. No one wants to turn and run the ball. Like get under center and run the ball. Right. It still wins. It doesn't lose. You know that. Yeah. Offense, these offenses there was a lot of bad. There was a lot of bad well, play calling at so, the end of that so game. The, the Bills, right? They didn't have a bad first week. It's just it started off good. Like that Tim Settle. Mm -hmm. That's a good pickup. We Tim talk, Settle's a great pickup. We talked about it the other day, yeah. or last week, or two the week before. They need a nose tackle. They got a nose tackle. They finally got a nose tackle. Congratulations. Then their, what was their next signing? It was... Um, the guy that was cut from Tennessee, the right guard, Sofield. Sofield. Safford. Good. Perfect yeah. pickup. Right, that's your left guard right there. Now, you, now you're pickup, starting to go yes. back. Now, you, now your whole left side's good to go. Mm -hmm. Still need a right side. But and then after that, it's just like started like let's go get two more DNs. Then let's go get two more. Well, I get what you're saying. It is. I, but I what I'm saying is when you but, go into the NFL draft, which is why teams struggle. When you go in there with three to, three holes plus in the NFL draft, and you're filling holes in the draft. That's 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 a red flag to me. Because then when you're filling holes, you're saying like, wait a second, he might be the best player. He might be the best player in five years, but we need this player. And yeah. then you're kicking yourself in the ass because you you missed the Michael Parsons, but you went and got a, a receiver. I think you know the saying? Bills will kick themselves in the butt if they do not. I don't know why I'm saying butt after I've just said the effort seventy five right. times. Um, get a they want they got to get a corner we know they got to get a corner we, they and they got to get somebody on the right side they probably will they would have dude, to dude i'll be honest i mean i i know that they need these things mm. i'll be honest dude brandon bean has not had one bad gym he might have had a bad pick but then he i that guy has fielded a great team every year i am not even worried about what he's about to do cuz i know he'll have that all covered he always does he always does he does great he's a great gm man he really is. Brandon yeah. Bean's done a lot for this team. Oh, sure, he he's has. got yeah. a lot. Of, he's, he's got a lot of players there, and he knows how to. Yeah, you know what he did? He got Allen. That's, that's well, got Allen. He's yeah. Got, yeah, but he's had good drafts other than yeah. just Josh. But Allen, Allen was the. What, I mean, they're for, how I many mean, drafts does he do? Four. He did, four we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to this dig is, in. I think this is his. Think next did, week we'll dig he in. He did four drafts. <laughs> we we're, we're starting off the show with his draft history. Yeah, let's okay, but we're gonna dissect Buffalo. 
We're going to dissect Chicago, and we'll okay. dissect Miami oh, as well. Oh, we're here. I'm I can ready. tell you Chicago. We'll dissect it all. Listen, well, I got no problem Mitch Trubisky, doing it. I have everyone's no fired. Because Trubisky. until Brandon Bean makes horrible decisions and costs my team big-time players, then I'll worry about but it. Alan, that, I'm not but Alan, here's about the thing. Trubisky, bum. They got to get fired. You should be fired. They let him take Yeah, but was kicks. it him or was it Nagy? It's him. It's him. And uh, it's everyone. They well, also was a pretty fired. terrible coach, dude. Yeah, but but Trubisky was just. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, we're gonna right? find. We're out. gonna find out. Uh, yeah, with Trubisky, come on. I mean, you, you pick, you trade. That's you the pick problem. One pick when San Francisco wasn't gonna pick the damn quarterback. It was so he took dumb. Him to the playoffs. Yeah, but it was you don't trade outrageous. Took him to the playoffs, but no. he took him to. Please, no. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I'm just getting you going, first. man. I'm just getting you fired up. Come on. I don't know what the hell they did. I know, though, at that point, I had said to Robin, this guy should never make a pick again. At this point, that One I, can't, I can't remember his name anymore because it's so much I can't stand him. <laughs> that he should have been never got on the plane. Wherever the hell he was, they should have left him. And said, I'm sorry, sir, you're done. Did Jerry that, Jones make that pick for you? Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> you, you, no, you're taking a cab or an Uber home because this is an outrage. You are a disgrace and you killed us all. Thank you. Because we now have gone backwards again. Every five years. That's what sucks is a pick like that sets you back like three years. Oh, it kills. When you know, if, if that pick, generally and a lot of people have the opinion on people when they first yeah. come out. And most of the times they're kind of right. And when you just see it and you're just like, it's like a slow death. Because then you're like three years. This just sucks. Oh, it's way worse. I think it's the I worst think the of Mitch all time. might be the worst. <laughs> I'm saying above Ryan Leaf bad. I do too. I you think traded it is above first my, round picks. To it's move above up. above Todd Marinovich bad. I'm telling you, it might the, be. It, it might seem like <laughs> because be I don't think anyone did anything like that. Is <laughs> is just re- they were right there. They were number three. The other ones were number two. You didn't have to. Worry. It wouldn't have been bad. John wouldn't be upset if they would have stayed at two or three. Two. They had two. Th- were they two? It's two. Because they, they moved, moved up they one moved. pick. No. Uh, yeah, you're there right. Were three, they moved up to two. If they would have took Mitch Trubisky at three, and he just turned out to be what he is, that's not so bad. But trading up one pick and giving up all that asset is brutal. They were like, this dude is called Mitch Money for a reason. Let's it, go, that was, and then he's Watson. Gonna drain, he's going to drain our bank account. Watson and Mahomes are behind you. It's just embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Let's wrap it up on okay, that sorry. note because you guys really just shut it off. <laughs> All right. Look at this. Uh, win trading. Car- win. We got a ton of cards right behind me. We have so many cards. It's, oh, awesome. it's unbelievable. Who was the f- who was selected first overall in the 1999 NHL draft? You see what to do. You know the answer? Send it in to us and you'll get your cards. Here's a hint. It's not Jack Michael. <laughs> so, before we go, don't forget our store. Incredible amount of items. It's not just trading cards anymore. We have sold this five foot freaking thing. It's a five foot blow up dartboard. They're buying it from from San Francisco to to New England. I, I can't believe how many. We, right? Yeah, we sold so many in this. We can't hold them. Oh, those dartboards? Yeah. yeah, inflatable dartboard. Yeah. Really? Five, five feet. Foot high inflatable dartboards. It looks like a blow. Yeah, oh, that's, that's yeah. awesome. Montana. That's something I haven't even seen. And it. now we got another it thing. It's a big connect and four. You will too. It's yeah. a big connect yeah. four. You can play like there's I a, have seen that. It's like it? ginormous. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. So all right, that's what that, we got. That'd be like a gallows for me <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon with a few beers. <laughs> and that's what we got in the store tomorrow. I'm going to remind you. Falls count anywhere at two o'clock. Um, really good show tomorrow with Charlie Turner and uh, Chris DiCarlo. Mick. Karch, a big name guy who was an announcer, AWA, all these wrestling places. He's going to be there live. It'll be really good. Incredible amount of uh, clips from our friend Chris DiCarlo, who's got an incredible vault. Um, I think that's all I got to say. I've said a lot. These guys are great. Thank you. Excellent well, show, as usual. Robin, thanks for manning Woo! the uh, thing over there. We went, oh, over, we went over 20 minutes, and it doesn't even have to be It doesn't even matter. Show. Yeah, good show. I could talk. We could, I could talk this show. Excellent. As usual, Mike Agello, thank you. And you're thanks, our, Mike. You're our insider, and we'll be getting back to you. We got an NFL insider coming on here soon, which is going to be very fun. Oh. Zig Fricasi, a oh, buddy okay. of ours. Um, awesome. Who works Can't for wait. the NFL Network and Cirrus Radio. Hey, you guys, for Cassia, they were talking. I heard have something he had. He uh, used to work here. Something he wrote was mentioned on yeah. on the Pat McAfee show today. So that'll be nice for you guys. I think that'll Great. be really cool. Is he a Bills fan? No, he's a Cowboys oh, fan. Okay. He's a Cowboys fan from way back, but I think he has to take his hat off like Mike does. A Jello with the gotcha. list. All right, let's go home. All right, everyone. See you later. Peace.